what's up guys so in this video i'll be showing you guys how to use the inshot keyframe animation this tool is very very good very important when you're doing animation you want to leave precision or something you can use it to move elements from one point of your video to the other all right so let's get right into it so i'm going to start a new project let me take uh, a cool video and just start a new project so we can use this on it all right cool now i'll be using this video so first let's say let's use a sticker i'm going to use it on a sticker text and also on the main clip so let's say i want to use it on this uh what sticker should i use hot sticker all right for example i want this sticker i'm put it here first let me get this sticker to the end of my clip and then click on end of clip it's going to be at the end of your clip if you had so many clips then you can click on it can click on this little arrow here and take end of video but we have just one clip and the one clip makes the video all right so i want to use keyframe to move this part from here to this position and then to the center of the video all right so let me show you how that is done now move your timeline this is your timeline be very vigilant of this line because when you add your keyframe this is the keyframe button that's wherever the line is that's where it's going to start working all right so i want it to start here so i'm going to click on my keyframe now to make my animation work i'll move my timeline a little bit let's say to whatever position i want the keyframe animation to work so i want from this point of this triangle this triangle indicates the first keyframe to this one where the line is i want this to move from here to this point all right so i'm going to move it with my finger to that point when i remove my finger you will see another triangle is going to pop up on the timeline on the timeline here showing you an animation has been done okay so i'm going to shift the timeline again to wherever i want use my finger to move the heart to the center now let me play the video you can see we have three triangles indicating the keyframes that we've added so play it it's going to go to the top and to the middle okay you can also do this for text let's try it with text so i'm going to delete this let's try it with text i'm going to write my name all right so i'm going to take it to the end of my clip as well now Let's go to keyframe. I want my keyframe to start at the very beginning of the video anyway. Let me put my take, my name here. So, I want it to move here. I want it to move from here to here. And then to the middle. And it's then it's going to zoom in and zoom out. So we have some animations to do. So this is not the normal intro and outro animation. Okay, it's keyframe. So let me shift my timeline a little bit. Then I'll apply my keyframe keyframe now shift my timeline to this position i move my element to the top I see another triangle is going to appear i shift it again to this position i move it to the center i shift it again i'm going to make it to shrink zoom in i shift my timeline again then i'm going to make it to zoom out Okay, so this animation spots. Now, if you want to delete any keyframe, position your line on your timeline on the keyframe, and you click here, it's going to be deleted. So now let's play the video and see what happens. Center and zoom out. Okay, so that's how keyframe works, and you can also use it on the main video, the main video clip. For example, this is our main video clip okay now if i click on key, keyframe here let's say i want this video to zoom in let me go somewhere around here i want this video to zoom in say around here i click on keyframe i'm gonna have one on the video and i move it to let's say here and i want it to zoom in i'm going to expand it with my finger another one is going to appear and let's say I move it here 
now I need to zoom back to the normal position so we have three so play the video and see what happens the one we did for the text is gonna work and when you keep playing the one we did for our main clip is going to work here zoom in zoom out see so that's how keyframe work and when you're done with it and you want to delete any keyframe just go back to the position that you applied it and click delete now you're done with your video you can save it in your device you can use it on text pictures videos the main clip on your video you can use it on any element when you're editing so that's all for this tutorial guys so see you in my next video thanks for watching don't forget to save.